Following the new tradition that I started late last year, this is another video about the things that are going to be trending throughout the month of April. This video is packed with information for people who do print on demand, social media marketing, sell printables, do affiliate marketing, content creators, and basically for everyone who maybe wants to boost a little bit their engagement on social media, their visibility, and try to see what trends are running throughout the world with monthly themes like national and global months, as well as national days and international days. And when I say national, I mean the US. And for those of you who haven't seen the last few videos or the newsletters that were about these national days, there are over 2,500 national days just in the US. So there are plenty of those to go around. These monthly themes, whether they contain a color, a product, a vibe, a profession, an activity, are great to know what kind of products should we be making for that specific month, as well as those specific days. Whether you're on social media or just selling on a marketplace, these themes are going to run throughout the entire month. And obviously, I am not going to mention all of them, because if I were to mention all of the national and international months and days in the month of April, this video will take seven hours and I will probably pass out in the middle. I'm going to go over a list that I narrowed down from enormous lists online. And these days are days that I think could be useful, whether they relate to a product or to a design theme or to a niche of some sort. And I hope that you guys will enjoy. With that said, I highly recommend to take out a pen or a pencil and something to write on like a piece of paper or a notebook so you can write down the things that are relevant to you because I do not recommend using all of these. <laughs> you should not be using all of these, just the things that are relevant to you. And before we get on over to the list, I just want to get one thing out of the way, and that is, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo, and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And April is packed with so many national, international themes and awareness months and days that it's insane. This was the hardest month so far to narrow down the list, starting with the fact that April is National Decorating Month. For content creators, this is a great month to show a little bit of how you're going to decorate your home or redecorate your home, whether it's by painting a wall or adding some cool throw pillows. For the print-on-demand people or affiliate marketers of any kind of physical good, this is a great month to be selling home decor items of pretty much any kind. Whether it's throw pillows, throw blankets, wall art, or anything that someone can use to decorate their home, like a wall tapestry, April is National Decorating Month, and I'm kind of psyched for that. I, I, pretty, I like that idea. Now, on top of the fact that it's National Decorating Month, and again, last time I'm going to say this, national means US, it's also Global Astronomy Month. So astronomy designs all around or content about astronomy will go well in the month of April. April is also National Gardening Month, which is kind of cool. One of those like t-shirt designs with like you can't have too many cactuses or just really fun patterns of plants all around could be a really good idea, and coloring pages revolving around gardening, also books revolving around gardening and anything around the topic of gardening. Staying a little bit with the theme of green, April is National Frog Month. Yeah, I told you some of these days are like nuts. So it's National Frog Month, and I actually had some fun creating some cute kawaii illustrations and other designs of a frogs, including backgrounds, and there is a new frog bundle on Maytribe.com for anyone who wants to create some frog content, but doesn't want to have a Creative Fabrica membership, just want to get it as a one-off, and doesn't want to create everything from scratch. I will leave a link to that bundle down below, but it is kind of cute. I've actually uploaded some of these, I think, to Tee Public, and I'm really loving the whole frog thing. I think that the colors of a frog are just adorable, because the majority of designs that I've seen with frogs that I really liked are around the colors green and pink, and for those of you who don't know, these are my favorite colors. I think this doesn't really show the green but like the background of this entire tapestry is green, so National Frog Months, I'm all for it. It's also Dog Appreciation Month, so anyone in the dog niche, this is the time to appreciate your dogs, whether it's to design and publish on social media a cool t-shirt that talks about how much dogs are better than people, or just spoil your dogs with things like dog bandanas and these dogs feeding bowls. Why did I forget that? So April is Dog Appreciation Month. It's also International Guitar Month. We have a lot of music 
related themes in the month of April, which makes me really happy because I do have a lot of musician related designs over on T Public, and they usually sell around. Well, they usually just randomly sell around July and around September, October, where people are buying stuff for Christmas. But I am really hyped up about International Guitar Month as someone who's been playing the guitar since she was six years old. It's also Jazz Appreciation Month, which uh, I'm not going to be celebrating since I don't appreciate jazz, I guess, that much. I don't know. I, I don't find jazz that interesting, but it is Jazz Appreciation Month, so if you have anything jazz-related, that could be cool. One thing that I would like to state here, imagine that you're making a video of a product that you have, or of you creating something, or even as a video mock-up from Placeit, and when you do the reel for it for Instagram during the month of April, just make it with jazz music. Just an idea. April is also National Humor Month, and it more relates to how humor contributes to our health, not just our mental health, but also our physical health by re releasing endorphins and all that kind of thing. So that could be a really cool month to lean on over to those funny, funny, funny t-shirt and mug designs or just, you know, make practical jokes online. <sighs> I'm still thinking what to do for the 1st of April, but we're going to get to that. It's also move more month. So that could be explaining to people as a content creator how they should move around. This is a great month for people who are in the physical therapy niche, people who are joggers, people who do yoga, and people who sell yoga mats, leggings, and sports bras. So that could be a really cool thing as well with Move More Month. Now, when it comes to April, there are also a lot of national food-related months. So I wrote the best of them here. Again, this is a very, very short list of the enormous amount. So April is National Pecan Month, like the nut, okay? It's also National Grilled Cheese Month. I like that idea. I like grilled cheese. It's also Alcohol Awareness Month, whether it's to be sarcastic, like one of those mugs that says probably contains alcohol, or talking to people about the dangers of drinking alcohol and consuming alcohol regularly. It's also National BLT Month, which for those of you who don't know is, uh, I think, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, if I'm not mistaken. It's a sandwich. It's also National Garlic Month and Soft Pretzel. That I like. There are really good soft pretzels on the online supermarket that I uh, shop from, and I'm probably going to be eating those in April. Or Banitza. Banitza is much better. With that said, I'm going to move on over to the days in the month of April. I'm going to take a sip of water first. And also take this opportunity to congratulate my mom for her birthday, which is today. I did mention that during the March Trends video because it's also like Alien Encounter or Alien abduction, abduct, abduction Day today or the day we made contact with aliens. Uh, but yeah, happy birthday, mom, if you're watching this video. Moving on <laughs> to the awareness days. Again, the very short list of awareness days, holidays, and national whatever during the month of April. Starting with April Fools on the 1st of April, obviously I am still thinking about what kind of prank I'm gonna pull <laughs> during the 1st of April for this channel. The video that I was planning for the goals video on the 1st of April includes some kind of like an apartment tour, my print on demand apartment. I, I, I want to say I have more than 100 print on demand items in my apartment right now, but the the actual number might even exceed 200. So that's going to be an interesting video. And I'm going to find a way to prank you, even though I did the main prank on the March goals video, but never mind. So we have April Fool's Day. This is also Easter Monday, the 1st of April. I know that Easter is, uh, there are two Easter's, one in May and one in like March, April. So for the one that is in March, the Easter Monday is in the 1st of April. And it's also National Greeting Cards Day. I like that idea. I, I think like the greeting card video that I did, how to create, how to make and sell printable greeting cards on Etsy. This was one of the very first videos that I did on this channel and it's literally the most viewed video whatsoever. So maybe more content on greeting cards now that I have more knowledge. It's also um, uh, one of the viewers named Hoodie Source. It's also their birthday on the 1st of April. So happy birthday, Hoodie Source. Moving on to the 2nd of April, it's uh, National Ferret Day. Design things with ferrets. The 3rd of April is Independent Artist Day. I like that. 
I like that. Maybe to raise awareness for people who are independent artists to talk about your business, to talk about how your business is going and how people can support you as an independent artist on the 3rd of April. But it's not just Independent Artist Day, it's also Find a Rainbow Day. <sighs> I told you, these things are ridiculous. Moving on to the 4th of April, and this is literally the seventh time I've said it, World Drummers Day. Thank you, video editing. So this is World Drummers Day, and I'm kind of thinking to do some kind of like cool clip art of a cow drumming. I need to look into that. Or is it drummering? It's also National Ramen Day. I think it's been National Ramen Day for print-on-demand sellers for like the past two years, but fine. The 6th of April is National Pajama Day. That is kind of cool. I kind of like the idea of Pajama Day, especially with uh, one of my hoodies from my <laughs> cow shop. It's a great pajama, especially when there are joggers to match that one. Those are, by the way, the All Over Print hoodie by Printful that I'm selling through Fourth Wall and the All Over Print joggers of Printful that I'm selling through Fourth Wall. There will be videos in this month and the next about both of these, like a product review for both of these. It's National Pajama Day. I'm also reminding anyone who's using Awkward Styles, they literally have pajamas. So that's really cool, like a pajama set that people buy together. It's also National <sighs> Siamese Cat Day. Americans. And it's also International Pillow Fight Day, which, believe it or not, I found pillow fight mock-ups on Placeit. <laughs> that was brilliant, seriously. I think that one of the things that are the most important throughout this whole national thing, or whenever we talk about a certain niche, is to make sure that the mock-up relates to the actual design. And that's one thing that I found to be fantastic on Placeit, because they have enlarged their mock-up variety into such a variety that I could literally find pillow fights. So everything that relates to Dog Appreciation Day, they have a lot of t-shirt designs and hoodie designs and bags of people with dogs. Same with people with cats. And for those of you who don't have place it yet, we actually have a community discount for place it. 15% off your first billing. So if you go buy a monthly billing, you get the first month for 15% off. And if you take a yearly billing, you get 15% for the entire year with a link to that down below. But yeah, International Pillow Fight Day. Uh, for those of you who know how many pillows I have at home, I just don't have anyone to fight with. So I'm just going to randomly go through the 6th of April, like walk through the complex and go like, hey, does someone want to throw a pillow on me? That would be nice. It's also International Fire Walk Day, which I will not be observing this year because <laughs> I like my feet not burnt. Moving on to the 7th of April with World Health Day. Again, very general thing. Anything about health? I seriously, this could be related to so many things. People who are in pretty much every niche can relate it into World Health Day. You know what? Let's make an experiment. Comment down below your niche and how it can relate to World Health Day. That would be nice. And it's also National Beer Day on the 7th of April, which I like. I like that idea very much and I like beer very much. Moving on to the 8th of April with Draw a Picture of a Bird Day. Again, I told you, some of these are absurd. But I do like drawing pictures of birds. I actually was looking into Instagram. Um, not Instagram. Why did I say Instagram? Like the Facebook uh, memories thing. And I saw, I think it was yesterday, that a few years ago I uploaded this illustration of a bird. This was a time where I used to do all my illustrations by hand and then eat, and then scan them to create printable coloring pages. Or even like, you know, take a photo with your phone as a PDF, like with a PDF scanner on your phone and create coloring pages. And then I got Clip Studio Paint and a Wacom tablet, so I was able to illustrate these myself, like in very high resolution and quality back when I was selling coloring pages. There is actually a full collection of these birds, and I I'm, I'm, I need to find the hard drive, like the external hard, hard drive that it's on. So April 8th, draw a picture of a bird day. 9th of April is Global Holistic Wealth Day. Global Holistic Wealth Day. Is that all those, like, uh, I am abundant, money flows through me. I am attracting financial wealth, all that? I think so. The 9th of April is also National Unicorn Day. So anyone who's selling any design that's relating to unicorn, affiliating unicorn pool floats, which will be a good idea because summer is coming along, or making coloring pages of unicorns. 
that would be a great day to promote these. It's also International ASMR Day. For those of you who don't know, ASMR is autonomous. I wrote it down because I don't remember this. Autonomous sensory meridian response. It's that tingling feeling that you get in your brain when someone is like doing that uh, the hand thing on you. It's also some kind of response to certain stimuli like sound or like visuals. And there are actually a lot of YouTube creators and Instagram creators who make a lot of money by creating ASMR content. I have actually sold on TeePublic several t-shirts for people who either listen to or do ASMR. I don't really remember. I, I should have put them in front of me. See, this is what happens when I don't script a video. But I think I did something in the in the thing of like, um, there are a lot of ASM artists that have, yeah, it's called ASM artists that have like really long nails and they tap. So I wrote like, I broke a nail so I can't come to work today. And I also have something like relationship status going to sleep while watching ASMR videos. So that is on the 9th of April. The last thing that we have on the 9th of April that I wrote down, because again, every day has many, many of these things. The 9th of April is the end of Ramadan for the Islam religion with the end of Ramadan on the 9th of April in the evening and the 10th of April during the day is being called Eid al-Fitr, which basically ends this long month of fasting throughout the entire day. And I don't know a lot more about this tradition. I have seen amazing celebrations of Eid al-Fitr when I was living in Haifa. So it is a really, really, really cool cultural experience. I love it. So everyone who's watching this who's Muslim, Ramadan Karim, I hope that your days are passing through fast with a fast. And I know that you can't wait for the 9th of April. I heard that this is a major celebration. Moving on to the 10th of April with International Day of Pink. <laughs> Do I really need to say anything about that? We've had so many times that I was talking about the, the Barbie trend and then the National Day of Barbie. So International Day of Pink. Anything that's pink goes. I don't think I need to specify more than that. It's also National Farm Animals Day. I like cows. <laughs> so there are actually more than cows here outside of my out of my window. I'm going to try to find photos and videos to run them on the screen right now. So there are actually cows here. There are horses. There are goats and sheep. The farmer also has chickens and ducks, I think, or geese. I don't, I'm not, no, 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 geese. He has geese. Why did I say duck? So there are a bunch of farm animals outside and my main niche right now is cows. So I'm happy for National Farm Animals Day on the 10th of April. It's also National Siblings Day on the 10th of April, so any kind of gifts that you might have that are world's best sister, world's best brother, maybe it's time right now on the 15th of March to upload these onto social media and tell people, hey, order this now so you can get it by National Siblings Day. That is the 10th of April. It's also Golfer's Day. So, if you have a sister that really likes to golf and cows and pink, get her a pink t-shirt of a cow golfing for National Siblings Day on the 10th of April, and that will cover everything on that day. See? That's why you shouldn't be combining all of these days together, even though I really want that t-shirt right now. I really want that t-shirt right now. That sounds amazing. Moving on to the 11th of April with National Pet Day. I don't think I need to say that much. I think that pretty much everybody who's doing anything relating to pets is going to be happy on this day. I'm just going to move to the 12th of April where we're narrowing down the pets to national, to world, sorry, to world hamster day. <laughs> I can't keep doing these videos. I just... I know, I know that a lot of you have requested me to do these videos, but it, they are, they are the, really the hardest videos to edit because I, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> World Hamster Days on the 12th of April. I'm just going to run with it. I'm not even going to try and make another take. Moving on to 14th of April, which is National Gardening Day, which makes no sense because the entire month is gardening month. Why is the 14th of April National Gardening Day if you have a gardening month? Americans. 15th of April is World Art Day. Anyone who wants to celebrate their art can do that on the 15th of April. And it, that art 
is going to be really cool if it's going to be also purple and anime, because the 15th of April is Purple Up Day as well as National Anime Day. And when I say anime day, I hope that people understand from my accent that I mean the cartoon style and not the medical procedure of anime. <laughs> Moving on to the 16th of... <laughs> I can't do this! Oh wow, this is really hard. I think that by the end of the year with those national days, we're just gonna have a video of me laughing and on the screen you're gonna see what day it is. The 16th of April is National Orchid Day. <sighs> and also wear pajamas to work day. I don't know if this is observed in the US. When is the 16th actually? The 16th is, <laughs> it's really hard to know <laughs> because I ordered my, uh, my planner from Amazon DE and it's in German. I, I don't know if the camera can focus on that. I think it's a Tuesday. <laughs> it says Dienstag. I think it's a Tuesday. So on Tuesday, the 16th of April, people are supposed to wear their pajamas to work. I don't know how I feel about this holiday, mostly because I wear pajamas all the time. <laughs> when I'm working, mostly I'm wearing pajamas. I really need to get out of the house more. 17th of April is uh, blah 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 day. And it's not me not caring about this day. It's literally blah 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 day. I have no ideas for that one. The 18th is National Exercise Day. We need those, especially during grilled cheese month, if we need National Exercise Days. And the 19th of April is Bicycle Day. Does that mean you're not supposed to exercise with your bicycle on the 18th? Or if you're a bicycle rider, you get two of these days? I don't know. But it's National Bicycle Day. Before we move on to the 20th, I would like to kindly ask you that if you like this video so far and you found this kind of content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and all of that. And subscribe to my channel for more of these monthly themes and a lot of other videos that are actually technical tutorials where I'm a lot more serious and not laughing so hard. The 20th of April is National Lookalike Day. I think it relates to the Doubleganger Week. I'm not really sure, but it's National Lookalike Day for the people who you look like. The 20th is also Husband Appreciation Day. Again, find something that you can sell, that you can promote, that you can affiliate, that you want to feature on social media and make sure to feature it before so people can have that gift for National Husband Appreciation Day on the 20th of April. It's also Chinese Language Day, which uh, is a great day to show those like weird people who have like a Chinese symbol as a tattoo and it actually like means sushi or pizza when they think it means strength. Like those people are so weirdos, said the girl who has a Chinese letter on her left shoulder, but fine. I think I should really make like a a personal q and I haven't done those in a long time because I don't think anybody has ever asked me about my tattoos, but yeah. Moving on to the 21st of April, where three things are going to happen. One, it's National Tea Day. And I do remember uh, back when I was doing, first of all, there was my Printful store with Etsy. That was all about mugs. And also my uh, first Red Bull store, the one I closed um, many, many moons ago, like two years ago. And in both of them, I was selling those um, herbal tea makes me poop, green tea makes me poop kind of thing. So it's National Tea Day on the 21st of April. Actually, I made this entire design of this t-shirt on Printful directly, like without like taking text from Printful and also the tea mug. So that was kind of a cool thing to do. It's also National Bulldogs are Beautiful Day. I like that. I like bulldogs. I think bulldogs are really adorable. And the third thing that happens on the 21st of April, a uh, bit of a spoiler alert, this will be the day that I will announce the contest winner that will get $100 Amazon gift card. More on that towards the end of this month when we start this contest. And this will also be the day that I'm gonna say goodbye for about three and a half weeks to take a little bit of break and probably go to Greece and miss the ocean and celebrate the holiday of Passover without work and plan a lot more things. I was talking about this, I think, in the seven years print on demand video Q&A that was also with March Goal. I was talking about this break that I'm going to do. And of course, I'm going to be talking more about that on the April Goals video and when I take the break. But the 21st is going to be the last video live premiere that will be on this channel before I take a break of about three, three and a half weeks. And again, 
announcing the contest winners of the Amazon $100 gift card. More on that towards the end of the month where we're going to start our contest. And also, probably I'm going to throw in a private, like a personal Q&A. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. And if you want to make sure to not miss out on videos, on contests, on content, you can do that by joining our Facebook community with the link down below or be a part of Patreon or the free newsletter. So you'll never miss out on anything. Moving on to the 22nd of April. And the reason why I'm taking my break on the 21st is because the 22nd is the eve of Passover, Lel Seder, that starts a week-long holiday that is Passover. This is, uh, I heard people call it the Jewish Easter. And for those of you who don't know, there are rumors that Jesus's last meal was actually the eve of Passover. It's a, a, a very interesting uh, religious and uh, debate, not debate, more like information sharing that I've had with several Christian people who live here. I, I love sharing these like bits of tradition from Jesus's life because he was born Jewish. I like sharing these things because there are a lot of proof that Jesus's last meal was in fact the eve of Passover. And if you look at the uh, one, the, the paintings of the last meal, they also they always show people like sitting very comfortably, which is actually a Passover Eve thing to sit on comfortable chairs surrounded by pillows throughout the dinner. FYI. But on top of it being Passover Eve and the first day that I'm going to be off in a while, the 22nd of April is also National Pinup Day and Earth Day. Pinup, Earth Day, National Baseball Day, <laughs> and National Beagle Day a lot of things to do on the 22nd of April. Again, pinup day, earth day, baseball day, and beagles day. The 23rd of April is national table tennis day. Why do we need these? I don't know. Other than, other than social media marketing and selling print on demand items, why do we need these days? Do you think that someone who plays table tennis goes like, oh my god, I'm finally recognized. This is my day. I really don't get it. It's also national picnic day which uh, I think will be easier to celebrate if you're not in Europe, because usually around the end of April is either when we get like a frost that comes over or everything becomes very muddy when the snow frosts. I don't know about this year, because this year we haven't had snow in a ski resort for like over a month. So I don't know what's going to be on the 23rd of uh April with National Picnic Day. It's also National Talk Like Shakespeare's Day and the English Language Day. So let's all play a game of table tennis and then sit around a picnic blanket and talk like Shakespeare on the 23rd of April. Only on the 23rd. We're not allowed to do that on any other day. The 24th of April is denim day. There are actually print-on-demand denim jackets. <laughs> this is the only thing that came to mind. And also, you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of uh, the, the video I did before this one when I was doing like the four cool tricks uh, with Canva Photo Edit where I took like this girl and I actually was able to change, like to keep the entire mock-up of this woman, but actually just change the color of the denim into pink. And if you want to watch that video, because it's a really cool trick, I'm going to leave a link to that video down below and also probably at the end of this one. The 25th of April is Thank You Thursday. Yep. Which means it's one of those days that change every year because next year it's not going to be on the 25th of April. It's Thank You Thursday. That's a great day to thank people. If I was doing content on this day, I would thank all of you for being so awesome and supportive throughout this journey. And it's also World Penguin Day. By the way, I did an SEO research yesterday about coloring pages because I do SEO research about random stuff a lot. And I found that when people search for free coloring pages, the least competition is on penguin coloring pages. So maybe that's a good idea for World Penguin Day on the 25th of April. We also have the 26th of April with Alien Day. Not Aliens, but Alien the Movie. The 27th of April is Morse Code Day. I kind of want to do something for that, you know? I kind of want to design something with Morse Code. I actually learned most Morse... I've actually... Ugh! I have actually learned Morse Code. I hate saying it. I've actually learned Morse code when I was a kid, but I don't remember that much. So maybe I'll uh, take it my goal for April to relearn Morse, co Morse code. <sighs> Moving on to the 28th of April with National Superhero Day. Whether you talk about who is your personal superhero or you make t-shirts like my mom is my superhero, just don't use the Superman logo. 
Because, you know, that's going to get you banned from pretty much everywhere. And starting from the 28th of April till the 4th of May, may the 4th be with you, is International Small Business Week. Starting from the 28th of April, and I think that this is one of the things that I mentioned here. There are also like all these national weeks and stuff, but I did mention here because I think that the majority of the people who are watching this video are probably in this category of having a small business. Moving on to our last two days of April, with the 29th being National Zipper Day. <sighs> yes, maybe make a post about the invention of a zipper or sell your zipped hoodies. It's also International Dance Day. This is something that I can more see relating <laughs> to certain niches, but International Dance Day. And the 30th of April is Bubble Tea Day! <laughs> I love bubble tea. It kind of makes me miss uh, Bangkok a lot. This was like, bubble tea was like in every corner. And it's also International Jazz Day, which again is kind of weird because April is jazz month. Why is April like gardening month and then there is a gardening day and it's also jazz month and there is jazz day? I don't know. With that list out of the way, I don't remember what I have to say. Again, I did not script this video in any way, shape, or form. With that, um, I'm going to ask you to comment down below anything you want. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. Let me know which one of these, like, national days or international days or themes were the most appealing to you. And also, yeah, I am seriously thinking what to do on the 21st when it comes to my last video before the break. I've had a lot of people go like, oh, why do you do all these breaks? You're driving us crazy. Have you never had like an employment position where you like took a vacation? Yeah, that happens. And I'm really looking forward to that. As I mentioned when we were talking about Denim Day, I did have a video with Canva where I was showing these like really cool tricks, including changing the color of the denim. So I will leave a link to that video on the screen once I'm done, along with the recently most viewed video of why I don't use Printify and don't make videos about Printify and why I stopped doing Kittle tutorials. Printify actually commented on that video and uh, I posted their comment. Their comment is obviously public, but I've also posted their comment on the group. It's, uh, to me, it's hilarious because, you know, after three years, they finally care when it's all, all out and about. And I've also got like a comment back from their customer service that had nothing to do with my customer request, which I was like, oh, you're just making it worse, man. Um, so I'll leave a link, a floating video to that somewhere here. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. I finally did the content plan for March and April. So I'm super excited. There are so many videos coming up next week. If I am going to complete my mission, there will be about six or seven new videos till the end of this month, uh, including our contest to win $100 Amazon gift card. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell or subscribe to the newsletter, Patreon, or join our Facebook community. And I wish you all an amazing Friday or whatever day you're watching this. And of course, bye!